CCX Sports brings you coverage of Minnesota High School Volleyball. Tonight, a non-conference matchup featuring the Minneapolis Southwest Lakers and the Hopkins Royals. From the Royals Activity Center in Minnetonka, John Jacobson along with Fong Lung and Fong, a, a very young team for Hopkins this season, had some success last year, but they have, have not many players who saw a lot of varsity time last year. They're one and three to start. They are, but they're very scrappy. We talked to the coach prior to this game, and uh, they're learning. They're getting better every game. Um, you know, they even include their starters as an eighth grader here, and she thinks that they all have a lot of potential here. Expect it to be a pretty gritty um, uh, match with them. Got the chance to officiate them in their first game of the year, and I was very impressed uh, by their performance at that time. Southwest five and two on the year. They were three and one in the Tartan tournament over the weekend. Definitely bring back more experience from the team that was a section runner up in 6-4A last year. Yeah, they do have a lot of experience, including one of their setters. I think she's only 26 sets away tonight from getting a thousandth career set. And I think they're also led by a, a really nice outside here in Elise Ozos as well, too. But much more experience than Hopkins. So far, off to a good start. Week three of the season as a coach, what do you want to see from your group? Still, you know, you're still five weeks, six weeks away from sections. Well, it's still early, early. Even though it's a short season, it's still early relatively. And you just want to see them continue to build on every game. Every game they want, there's things to work on. Taking things from practice and making sure you're applying that in game time situation here. I think both coaches are going to be looking for that. They're not really in the heart or the meat of the uh, conference schedule yet. But I think this is a good time to test all that. It should be a good competitive match here tonight at Hopkins. It is Hopkins and Minneapolis Southwest, and it's live on CCX next. At Topline Financial Credit Union, we love getting to be part of our members' big moments. Whether it's making home improvements, going to school, building a business, or even getting married. An interest-only home equity line of credit with payments as low as $50 per month can help you get there. It's just one of the ways we're helping our members on their financial journeys. Become a top line member and let us be a part of yours because connected, we all do better. At Hopkins, John Jacobson, Fong Lung getting ready for Minneapolis Southwest and Hopkins for volleyball on this Monday evening in Minnetonka. We talked about in the pregame the young team that Hopkins has. And if we look at the starters, a little more experience coming back for Southwest. And you look at that uh, Hopkins lineup. Elsie Budelson, Ava Jennings, who's just an eighth grader, Giselle Hall, Lily Jacobson, Sloan Burgess, Avery Merritt, and Lena Cole. And for the Lakers, Melia Locker, Elise Olzels, Lily DeMarco, Liv Garnett, Malena Macea, Lucy Sharon, and Scarlett McKay. More of a junior senior lineup, or is it Hopkins? Four sophomores, Junior Nasia here, and Jennings may be the best player already. Going to be that way certainly by the time she finishes. Just an eighth grader. Yeah. Ava's got, he's had such a bright future. And uh, when we watched her tonight, I think everyone's going to be very impressed with her skills. Uh, still a lot of potential. She's just starting to reach, uh, you know, just starting to tap into that right now. It's just super athletic. If you're familiar with Hopkins Volleyball for the past several years, the Jennings name has been pretty synonymous with this program. Uh, uh, Ava's the younger sister of Maya Jennings, who uh, just graduated last year, was an All-State uh, player, and is now playing D1 uh, volleyball at uh, Bethune Cookman down in Florida. And you had a ch chance to coach both of those girls, right? I've had a chance to coach Amaya for during her 16s and 18s years, and what a treat it was to coach her. One of the hardest working players I've ever gotten to coach. Ava's no different. Avery Merritt with the serve that got us started. Cole back set, swing and down for a kill. Giselle Hall, sophomore outside hitter, gets our first point of the match. Yeah, good composed swing to take a sharp cut to find that opening cross court. There had a good serve to the back row. Lakers a little trouble with it. They'll go down as an ace, and it's 2 0 Hopkins. Yeah, 
here to get and go. Same spot. This time, Lakers able to handle it. A little touch tip over there for Southwest. Liv Garnett, the senior middle, hits the point, gets Southwest on the board with the point. That time, they were able to handle that serve receive ball, allow them to make a play on that. And good recognition for that hole right behind the blocker. Good serve by Elzelza. Kind of dove there a little bit on Hall. Outside set, swing across the middle, and a kill for the Lakers. Emily Locker. It's going to be interesting to see uh, the uh, matchup with Locker right now. She's going up against a fairly undersized or shorter uh, right side blocker and took advantage of at that time. Lisa Ozol is another good serve. Hopkins able to return it, though. Quick set in the middle, good block up front by Hall. Back row handled by Jennings. Left side swing and another kill. The second early in set one here for Giselle Hall. Good dig by uh, Ava Jennings right there to keep that ball alive and allow Hopkins to get back in the system where they got that, that were able to tool that blocker and get the point. Hall with the serve. Good dive on that ball there by the libero McKay, but Southwest staying able to set up their offense. Another point for Hopkins and a 4 2. Royals lead here in the first set. So far, it looks like Southwest's offense is going to their left, left side hitter here. Let's see if they mix it up and, and uh, challenge other blockers. Good serve just over the net. Picked up back row, tip, and the kill for Lily Jacobson at the net. Great, great awareness by Jacobson there on that overpass and still having enough body control to just kind of push it away and win that point. 5-2 Royals. Hall, oh, another good serve. Great at McKay. Swing across and off of the hands of Cole and out. Point for the Lakers. Good aggressive swing by Locker again, going across this time. Leah Tycast, number four in now for Hopkins. Here's Jennings with her first swing, but missed down the line, a point for Southwest. Well, even though she missed that ball, you just saw, that's got a glimpse of her athleticism there, and uh, you know, she would hit over that blocker and would have been right down that line. Well, set it to her again, and too strong this time. The set took her inside a little bit, kind of threw off that timing. She tried to keep it in, in bounds there, but uh, wasn't able to get a, a big snap on that ball. Swing right side, and that is blocked. Great double block there by Southwest. They read that set perfectly and formed a really nice wall. Locker and Sharon getting up for the double block there. Scramble here for Hopkins and hit over by Tycast. Quick set to the middle. Good block by Jennings. Point for Hopkins. Ties it at six. You know, even though Hopkins is a relatively younger team here, they certainly are playing with a lot of composure right now. Great read by, the, by uh, the blockers there to shut that attack down. Jacobson with an ace. It was a last second decision by McKay to let that one go and Jacobson able to drop it inside the back line for a point. Hopkins back in front. Upside set down the line and Point four, Southwest. Another kill for Locker. This time she's going down that line, sees an, an opening. Uh, blocker gave her about three feet off that pin and found it. Let's see Sharon, senior sitter. We'll talk about her when we get a timeout. Really had a lot of volleyball experience. This ball hit long from the middle there by Tycast, the hitting error, and it gives Southwest the lead back now at 8-7. Sharon to serve again. That's right at Tycast. 
Set outside for Jennings for the point. Set assist to Avery Merritt. Just yep. 13 years old. <laughs> just 13 years old, and just see her just composure. She didn't even go max swing on that. She knew there was an opening, and, and just located that ball just beautifully. Maybe Jennings, the eighth grader, ties it up at eight. Lucy Lobbs in for Hopkins, serves here. Back set. And this one goes off Lobbs and out. And it saved us there. It was a little dramatic. I, we were actually not, <laughs> not in much danger there. <laughs> it's not like we're catching a foul ball or anything. Right. No. Hopefully, Pesh with the serve <laughs> for the Lakers. Outside, but. Oh, tough ball, but still able to handle it. It was almost outside the antenna to Lucy Farrell and able to get it across. Southwest answers to go back to Jennings. Hopkins does. Nice job. Cuts it shallow and down. And another point. A couple really nice touches there by Hopkins. First of all, saving that ball when that set takes him past that pin and having a tough angle just to, to bring it back in the court. And then uh, setting that ball back out to Avery there. Or Ava, excuse me. She'll serve here for the first time tonight. Diving for that one was McKay. Farrell back set. Tip over by, or tipped over by Farrell rather. Off the lobs. Set lobs will go back to Farrell again. A little dump try, but Hopkins ready for it. And lobs will dump it over. Southwest content to play it back. Jennings front row. And I think Lobbs might have been across the line or under the net. Yes, I think the R2 called her for uh, over the line. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll go back and forth here in this first set. And Hopkins unable to get a return on that one. And the Lakers go up by two at 11-9. Louis DeMarco, junior middle blocker, too long. Jacobson rotates back in, but it's Cole here to serve for Hopkins. Except the middle, pushed by Garnett. R2, Dev Lorenzen calls a net call violation on Hopkins. Point to the Lakers, 12-10. And Masaya with the serve. The diving serve that Jennings couldn't quite get the pass on. And it goes as an ace. That's a so tough much. serve. It had so much movement on that ball, and once it crossed that net, it just dropped. Tough ball to handle. 13 to 10, Southwest leading Hopkins. Aisha Khan, second year head coach here at Hopkins. It was, of course, at uh, Armstrong for a number of years, and um, boy, they're in a tough section and conference, right? Playing in the late conference and then <laughs> Probably even tougher is Section 5-4A where you get Champlain Park and Wyzetta at the top and Maple Grove with some other good teams too. The yeah, Aisha, Aisha definitely likes challenges and, uh, you know, coaching in the lake and then being placed in the, uh, the uh, uh, section with Champlain and Wyzetta, it certainly, you certainly have your work cut out. And Rob Brink, seventh year head coach at Southwest. They've been in the Section 6-4A final each of the last two years, lost to... Burnsville in the final in 22 and then lost in five sets. Heartbreaker last year to Edina in the section championship. I think I was the official at that game for, uh, for the section of finals, and it was definitely a heartbreaker. Um, and uh, they were so close to making to state. So Coach Kahn gets the timeout. Her team trailing by... Three. And they put a little run together themselves. 
Big swing down, and it's out. No, it is down for a point. Yeah, it was a good kill by Ozo's over there, and she leads the team in kills right now. You can see that strong swing. She's got great court vision. So far, Southwest has had a lot of success going sharp cut on their left side swings. Masaya that time serves into the net. Hopkins gets a little break. The side out, back to within three. Merritt will rotate back in along with Budolfsson and Merritt to serve. Oh, trying to go for the quick return, but then Jacobson ready at the net for it. Able to drop it down for a point. Second time Jacobson has taken an overpass and put it away. Great awareness. 14-12. Quick touch over, but Cole able to handle it. Jacobson gets it over, picked up by McKay. Left side and down for the point. And it's Hall, who started the match with a kill. Run of three in a row here for Hopkins. Yeah, nice job on the blockers by Hopkins to get a, a touch on it and then to allow themselves to, to dig that ball and then feed their left side hitter. Here it, played by McKay, and it goes an ace, didn't get the pass. Or excuse me, that's uh, off of Pesh. And 14 all, so four straight here for Hopkins. Pesh backed up a little bit, but couldn't get the pass to McKay. They'll go at her again, Pesh handles this one. Set, cross court swing, Jennings picks it up. All big swing, good dig back row by Pesh. And then into the net on this swing by Ozels. You have to give credit to Hopkins. It seems like all their servers have served very aggressively. I think they've already gotten three or four aces. And if, even when they don't get the aces, they're, they're, only, they're forcing that team to be out of system pretty frequently. This time Southwest able to get it, but they... Swing goes wide off of Garnett's but I attack. Think, I think the R2 is going to call a net violation on Hopkins here. So I'll go to Southwest instead. Good veteran officials here tonight, Fong. Two of the best in the state here. We've got Tim Harlow and, and the, uh, as the up ref, and then we've got Deb Lorenz as the R2. Uh, I've ref with both of them on m many occasions, and they are very, very good at what they do. So it is back over to Southwest. Oh, and up diving to get that ball and down for a point for the Lakers. That one hit off the tape and too tough for the Lakers to be able to, or the Royals to be able to play it back. So Southwest now in a couple in a row. Three takes the lead. Jacobson a little touch over. Good dive on the floor by McKay to get to that one. Jennings goes front row, quick set. Over by Jacobson, gets blocked by Garnett. Nice job shutting it down there by Southwest, recognizing that uh, Hopkins has run the last several balls to the inside here and uh, just sealing that net, not giving her any room to, to uh, attack that ball. Southwest. Head by two now. Merritt. Set it to Jennings, attacking from the middle. Lakers get it back to the middle of the court, dug up there by Cole. Here's Hall swinging and couldn't get it across. Hopkins had the opportunity there. They, I think they had the, the play they wanted. They just couldn't convert by Hall. She tried to go down the line where she's had success. 18-15 Lakers. Biggest lead so far for them has been four. And they won't get there this time. They get the attack. Royals the point. 18-16. Burleson, good play. Front row. Hall. Back to serve. 
across and down for a point. That's Elliot Locker. Nice swing by Locker. You know, John, we played 35 points in this game, and I don't recall Southwest setting any other position other than the left side. Have you? I mean, so if I'm Hopkins, I'm going to just stack my defense other and force them to go somewhere else here. But they've had a lot of success on their left side. Jennings with a kill. Big point for Hopkins. They pull back to within two, 19-17. Nice vision by Jennings there. It's actually, you don't see that type of maturity and composure for someone that young usually. And just to be able to recognize and see that that was the opportunity to give a, a point. Overpass, Jennings with a touch on it. Southwest ready for it and then dumped over there by Lucy Sharon. Sharon, the senior setter, came into tonight 26 sets away from 1,000 in her career and gets the serve here and it's off the hands down of Tycast and down for a point. Well, this is a tight game and if we go anything more than three sets, there's a good chance she might get that 26 tonight. Lakers at 21 points, Sam make it 22. Off of Cole, back to back. Aces for Lucy Sharon and on the timeout for Hopkins at 22 17 in set one. A yeah, good timeout there by Aisha. She's the, used up her second one. The previous one, that when she called it the timeout, I think they were able to convert several uh, points out of that timeout. So hopefully, for the Hopkins' sake, that they're able to uh, kind of stabilize it a little bit and make a little run to get back in this game. They've been fighting hard all game here and. Uh, kind of just hit a little rough patch in the last four or five points. Well, and, and she told us before the match, you know, this is a young team. It's a growing team. We're getting better. And of course, our opponents <laughs> presumably are getting better, too. So you, but you kind of live with some mistakes. Sure, like, hey, we know we're going to be a better team at the end of the season. And, and for a lot of these girls who are going to be coming back in the years to come, we're going to be better next year. You, you, you worry about the now, of course, but uh, yeah. you, you learn as you play, right? Yeah, definitely. And you you know, you don't want to also overcoach them. You want them to kind of figure things out as well, too, so they can make those independent decisions. And, and uh, you know, if they fail, you know, they'll learn from it. And you don't want to always have to try to explain it to them or show it to them because you want them to try to figure it out themselves. Sharon serve. Taken there by uh, Budolfsson. Swing across, handled, back row. Lock at the net, back set here. Budolfsson getting it over. Southwest scrambling and they get it across. Good job, and McKay was the one that ended up knocking it over and then tipped at the net, and it's Sloan Burgess with the kill. Nice job by Burgess here to recognize that opening um, with the two blocks up against her. Lobs back in will serve for Hopkins. A lot of margin for error though here for Hopkins late in set one with Southwest sitting at 22 points. On left side set again, Long. A player in the net. Yep, I think uh, Hopkins just got called for the third net call. Great dig by the libero. Pesh with the serve. Cole to the front row. Back set here for Jennings. Partially blocked. Lakers keep it alive. Back set to go to the right side this time. And there's a point. And now it's set point for Southwest. Served by Pesh. Swing to the back row. Pesh digs that up. And this one, a miss hit. Trying to get a set to the front row, and it's out of bounds. A little confusion between the libero and the setter as to who was going to take that second ball, and I think that caused the libero to kind of not make her normal pass there. And, and, uh, 
lose a little control of, of that pass or that set. 24-19 with Jennings serving. The front row across on the swing by Ozels. Pushed deep by Hall, too strong. And the point goes to Southwest, and the set goes to the Lakers as well. Good first set, Fong, but it's a Minneapolis Southwest in the end winning it here, 25-19. Yeah, very competitive until the last few points. Now there's a little controversy, or not controversy, but issue. Looked like the, the line judge on the Hopkins side called a touch, um, and uh, the Hopkins captain's going up to talk to the R1. He's saying he didn't see a touch and overruled it, so... Uh, point awarded to Southwest and set over. We'll take a time out. We'll come back. Southwest off on Hopkins. Set to none and more volleyball from Hopkins coming up after this. In 1935, Top Line Financial Credit Union was founded by workers from our local phone company, by people who dedicated their lives to keeping our community connected. At Top Line Financial, that dedication lives on because we believe that dreams are achieved when we connect with each other. So if you're dreaming of buying a new home or car or planning for your future or saving for that next vacation, connect with us. We'll help you get there because connected, we all do better. Some of the Hopkins Royals fans here in attendance tonight as their team losing to the Southwest Lakers. Lakers fans traveling from Minneapolis. They've got another match on Wednesday of this week. They will host Minneapolis Camden. That's the former Patrick Henry High School on Wednesday night. Hopkins right back in action on Tuesday. It's the late conference match at Buffalo High School. Hopkins will host a tournament here in a couple of weekends. They'll play in three tournaments this year. As we mentioned at the top, Southwest coming off uh, a good finish at the Tartan tournament. They went three and one at the Wally Wakefield Invitational on Saturday. So definitely some good things for Coach Khan and the Royals in that. Uh, first set and competed right with uh, Southwest. He seems to have one common opponent so far early in the schedule. Southwest with a 3-1 win over Washburn last week. Hopkins lost to Washburn in three a couple of weeks ago to start the season. Underway here in set two. Hopkins reserve, uh, receiving serve here in this set. A tip by Garnett. Hopkins able to handle it. Jennings plays it across. Outside set for the Lakers. Good rally here. Merritt pushing it across. Sets it outside. Jennings, tough play on it and didn't get it back in play. It's on the wrong side of the antenna there, so the first point goes to the Lakers. Yeah, Merritt gave out. Jennings, a tough ball that to, went past the pit pit, and she just tried to do her best and she wasn't able to bring it inside the antenna there. Second serve here for Masaya. Jennings, the swing. Cross, a little layout on that ball by Boot Olsen. Keep it alive, and then a cross, and then that one's handled on the attack from Burgess. That's one. Hall getting a hand on that one, diving to the floor. A long rally here. Ball to the middle, swing across, and the kill for Garnett. Really nice defense on both sides of the play in that rally. Yeah, definitely our best point of the of a rally of, of our game so far. Great job by 21 uh, and Southwest to execute that quick ball to finish that point. Jennings missed on the set from Burgess. First good idea by Merritt, rather. Yeah, good idea by Jennings. Go sharp cut on that. She's had success on that earlier, and just a little hard on that ball. Uh, that would have uh, got a point had she was able to get that in the court. Merritt, quick set to the middle there, and hit across by Burgess. Swing and boy, another attack here from Olsel, the senior. 
Got some power in that uh, arm. Great, on. great swing down that line. And again, I think they're recognizing that the two right side blockers by Hopkins against their left side hitters are a little undersized, and they're just able to hit over those blockers. Merritt to Jennings cross. Good handle by McKay there. Merritt sending it over and first kill tonight for Ashley Sarvey, senior middle, one of the captains for this Hopkins team. And yeah, gets them their first point in the set. Good mix there by Hopkins to set it outside and bring it inside uh, to, to finish that point. Merritt serving. Outside back row. Handle, quick set, and Garnett with the kill. We're seeing a little more variety here with the Minneapolis Southwest offense. Here. A couple already, a couple kills up the middle. I think they always had one on the right side earlier. They were they're still pretty heavy on the left side, but they're starting to mix it up and keeping Hopkins guessing. Holzels with the serve. Jennings handles that. Back set now to Jennings from Merritt. Back row. Holzels got it. They go to the front row again. This time they can get the block up. Hopkins does. Quick set, back, and kill for Garnett. You could tell she set herself up for that one, right? Got the, <laughs> the pass and then gets the quick set in return. He got rewarded. From Sharon. We saw Coach Brink and Jacob Pollan on the bench there. Good start for Southwest here in set two, and another point right there. Seven to one, Garnett puts another one away. Now they're really mixing it up and getting some more kills, on the, especially in the middle. I think Garnett's already had a couple, three kills already in this set alone. Ozil serve. Well, the middle, we'll tip over there by Sarvi. And swinging into the net on that attack. You know, give Merritt a lot of credit for, for keeping that tight pass in, uh, you know, in, uh, on the Hopkins side to allow them to make a play and keep that ball alive. That ball was definitely heading over that net. She was able to save it to allow Hopkins to make a swing. Jennings missed on her serve. Oh, no, got it in for an ace. The Lakers I'm guessing it was going to go wide. It did not. That ball, had a, in. that ball had a lot of movement on it. You could just see it just uh, floating. Drop it oh, yeah, right definitely. on that yeah. line. Yeah. Holzels thought it would go out, and it did not. Ace for Jennings. Back set. Strong attack. Garnett with another kill here in the second set. Garnett having a, a very, very good second set right now. Um, finding that seam between the two blockers there. The, the middle was just a little late coming over there, and she was able to find that little opening to convert into an, a kill. Has the serve here at 8-3. Swing across. Lakers got that blocked. Back row. Pass to the front. Little dump try there by Sharon, but Hopkins ready for it. And there's the kill for Giselle Hall. Good job of feeding that outside and making a big aggressive swing. It looks like Hopkins has started to stabilize. They st went out to a rough start, but uh, now it's starting to get a few more points in the set for them. Cole digs it up. Merritt across the hall. Goes to Southwest. Couldn't get it across. 9-4, Lakers. Anna Masaya, number 24, back in for the Lakers at this last rotation. A little tip by Hall here. A missed going down the line. So a couple of hitting errors by the Royals. And now a six point lead for the Lakers. Served by Sharon. He's been effective as a server tonight, Fong. Oh, yes. Oh. Jennings couldn't get that one over. Great hustle by Hall there. I thought uh, Jennings was going to be able to save that and keep it alive, but great hustle on that second contact. Yeah, that was a great play by Hall just to get to that yeah. one. 
another excellent serve by Sharon. And the Royals a little trouble right now. And serve routine. And Aisha Khan's going to take a timeout with the Lakers up 12-4 here in set two. Yeah, Southwest has definitely started to uh, be more aggressive with that serve. They've already converted a few aces on this run here. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, Hopkins has had a tough time controlling it. And even when they're able to save that pass, they're not really in system, and they're just get, sending free balls back over to Southwest. He seems on one time we're in the same section with you when you were coaching at Benilde St. Margaret's, right? In six, uh, probably three A and M. <laughs> Both of these teams were in our same yeah. section, and uh, the one time when I coached, we were closest to state. We, we lost to Hopkins in a tough, tough uh, uh, match. Uh, we lost by two point deficits in each set. There, that was our one time when we get to state. Were the Swensons still there? Were the, the oldest ones? Uh, or I, think year Sammy, was that? I think No, I don't. I think Sammy was gone, but they had a few others. No, I think Sammy may have been still there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I, I don't. No, I'm thinking about. It. I don't think so. Now you're still coaching, but not high school anymore. I still right? coach at club. Yeah, yeah, I coach at Minnesota Select. So I see a lot of these players up there too. Out of the timeout, we'll see if the Royals can get things cleaned up defensively a little bit and try to get some attacks of their own. There's a good one here at Hall, but it was blocked by the Lakers. Jennings runs it down and then over by Merritt. Swing attack and then it'll go off hands for a point. Kill for Amelie Locker. You know, Southwest seems like they're just starting to get in this rhythm now, offensively and defensively. If you look at even on the defensive side, they're putting two blockers every time Hopkins attacks. And then when they're on the offensive side, they're finding the gaps and converting it. Well, straight to the net here. And conversely, I think Hopkins is having a tough time now with ball handling. Just simple ball handling, whether it's a free ball or, even a, or especially on serve receive. Uh, not really allowing them a lot of offensive opportunities. Sharon's been at the service line for a while now. 14-4 Lakers. Swing. Ball hit deep. Can the Southwest get it over? They do. And then in the overpass, tipped briefly by Locker, but Royals ready for that. Back set here. Attack over. Jennings, a good pickup on that. We go to Hall and scrambling Lakers. Cross. Wow. Wow. And at the wow. Net, Hopkins can't return. I thought there was no way they could get that <laughs> ball back into play. And then even when they got it over, How get it on the right side of the antenna. But Tim Harlow was right there. He wants yeah, it. Yeah, how do they chase that down and then keep it inside the antenna? That's such a great play. And Tim had an absolutely great angle to it. Wow, it's terrific. Both by... Ozil's on the first ball, and then Sharon on the second one. Into the net, again, another Southwest point. Boy, they are just rolling now. It's 16 to four, Lakers. You know, Southwest just is playing mistake-free ball right, right now, whether it's first contact or even, or with their attacks, and they're and they're also being very aggressive. Ball in the middle here for Hopkins, Jennings, and picked up by McKay. Back row, Jennings handled it. Merritt trying to get it to Hall. Aggressive swing there. Good pick up by Ozels. Hit across by Locker. Ball to the middle. Or across by Jacobson. And finally, Hopkins able to end that long scoring run by the Lakers with a kill for Lily Jacobson to make it 16 to 5. Much needed stopper there for Hopkins. I know Fan was probably what, a 10 point run. No, not a 10 point run. Yeah. Eight, seven or eight point run. Back in play here at 16 to 5. Ball pushed up to the front road by Budolfson, over by Jacobson, and back to back kills now for the senior. Good job by Jacobson there, using the, high, the hands of that blocker, getting it off her hands to make it go out. I'll see Budolfson. Good serve to the back row, but Olsen's got her hands on him. 
No, too tight to the net there and over. And the point for Masaya, Anna Masaya with so that, the kill. So that's a perfect example of what's been going on, kind of a tail of the tape here in this game. Uh, Southwest didn't particularly handle that serve receive ball very well, but still was able to con uh, convert it over to a, a, a hittable second ball. And uh, sure enough, was able to attack it for a kill. Lobs and Sarvi back in for Hopkins. Pesh serving her team up by 11 here in the second set. Lakers leading 1 0 in sets. Jacobson pushed it across, and Saya was ready for it. Pulled to the middle to Jennings and got that one to dive down. Not much chance for Sharon to get a pass on that and the kill for the Hopkins eighth grader. You know, credit the libero there for recognizing the offensive option in, in, in Jennings from the back row. Uh, it would have been a tough ball to set to the pins there, given her angle, and then Jennings being able to convert that into a kill. Back set, swing across, and that one out. And Amasea with the attack. 17 8. Hall puts it in play. Set by Sharon and the kill for Lily DeMarco. Another attack and kill by from the, from the Southwest Middles. Marco spins it and serves. Ace serve. I thought that ball was going to be deep. It sure looked deep at coming off her hands, but that had a lot of sink to it as well, too, finding that back right corner. Marco goes at Jennings. Set to Jennings. A dive to the floor by Sarby, but couldn't get a pass up. And now Southwest with a three-point run is at 20. Ball to the front, Lobs. Oh, and then a little miscommunication, and it falls to the floor on the Hopkins side. They didn't know who was going to play that. And now 21-8, Lakers. You know, these are part of the growing pains of an Evan, yeah. a younger team, right. you know, being able to, to withstand these long rallies against you and whether you can fight through it. It's Marco too long on this one. Side out Hopkins. Jacobson serving. Ball to the middle and across. Mobs will set it up. Jennings will tap it, but wide. And I came flying at that one. Just didn't get her hand right to be able to get it in play. Yeah, tough ball to really make a full attack right. on it. But the ball died on the inside, and uh, she had to kind of just, uh, you know, modify her approach to that ball and take a different angle. Well, that was a good serve that died right as it came to Hall, and then the overpass, Carnetti able to easily tap that over. Look at it again. Look yeah. at this one. Garnett's gobbled up a few of these overpasses already. He's been having a great second set. And as a hitter, you you can see that coming. you got to be careful you don't <laughs> go into the net and be so aggressive, right? Then, yeah, it's very common to come under follow-through after you touch and then touch the top of that tape, and then you know, what you thought was had a, an attack uh, you know, results in a point for their team. Molina Masaya serving on set point here in set two. Outside ball handled by Lobs off the attack from Ozels. Back to Olsels again. Jennings from Lobs. And they run down another one at this time. Side out Hopkins, but it remains obviously set point still at 24 10. 
Seems like down that line shot is Jennings' favorite shot. She's already gone to it five or six times and has mostly success. It's easy to do when you get it over all the blocks. I mean, there's athletic as she is. Merritt's back in and serves here for Hopkins. Off McCabe. Sharon able to get it back into play and then the certain hit across wide. Back to back points for Hopkins. 24 11. Merritt's serve into them. And there it is. That is set two. Hopkins just. Not as strong on their side of the net, right? A lot of uh, ball handling errors and missed attacks and uh, not quite as clean as they were in set one. And that made, the, I think, the final score a lot more one-sided. And uh, the Southwest, for their credit, not many errors on their side of that second set. I think, as, yeah, I mentioned earlier, they just were just playing very clean volleyball, right. uh, both on the offense and the defensive side. I don't know how many points they were. They just were scrapped out and, and kept that ball alive to give themselves another chance. And then, you know, like, like I said, their, their seniority definitely showed. You know, the, the, the experience definitely showed versus Hopkins there when Southwest, you know, made a run about seven or nine points, whatever it was, and, and Hopkins just couldn't handle the ball. And they just seemed like they just weren't themselves. Um, and we'll see if, if Hopkins is able to learn from that and uh, be a little more competitive in the, in the third set, just like they were in the first set. We'll take a break. It's Southwest 2, Hopkins nothing. More of volleyball live on CCX next. At Topline Financial Credit Union, we love getting to be part of our members' big moments. Whether it's making home improvements, going to school, building a business, or even getting married. An interest-only home equity line of credit with payments as low as $50 per month can help you get there. It's just one of the ways we're helping our members on their financial journeys. Become a top line member and let us be a part of yours because connected, we all do better. Monday night high school volleyball here at Minute in Minnetonka at Hopkins High School. With the Southwest Lakers off to a five and two start this season, leading the one and three Hopkins Royals two sets to none. And for Southwest, you know, you play like you did in that second set. Even presumably Hopkins will, will play better than they did that second set. But if they play like they did Southwest, this should be a sweep for them. It should be. Um, and you know, Southwest has a pretty disciplined team. Uh, you said you could tell that some of these players have, you know, many of these players have played together for a longer time. And, uh, you know, they, and they've got some very consistent, high-efficient uh, hitters. Not a lot of hitting errors, and their passing is pretty solid. That's a good recipe for success. Bronwyn Meyer, number 13, in for Southwest. I believe for the first time tonight here to start set three. I like also that Southwest, you know, uh, added a little more to their offense that last set. They said being so reliant on the left side and had a lot of success. You know, the two middles had a lot of success every time they went to them. Ready for set three, Lucy Lobbs to serve for Hopkins. Set outside, boy, they go right to Ozels. And the senior hammers it home for the first point of set three. It's good a start. great pass, too. Yeah, great pass. That's exactly what, you know, first contact is so key. Yes. When you can do that, it makes the job so much easier for that setter. Lobs. And it's crossed. Just got over from Sarvi. Garnett's attack. It's partially blocked. Hopkins goes to Jennings. That's off hands. Lakers pick it up. Swing across. Hopkins handles the... Attack from Locker. The long rally here to the middle and blocked is Garnett. Jennings getting up. Garnett had a number of big swings in that second set, and this time. Yeah, good job by uh, Sarvi and, and Jennings to shut this middle down, knowing that uh, you know they were probably going to go back to Garnett. And I think that's one of the few times Garnett's been shut down on that quick ball. 
Now Ava Jennings to serve here for the first time in set three. Swing across, and then Barnett's like, I'm only blocking me here. You know, able to knock it down easily. Lobs had defended her and positioned her quite well. I mean, that ball was coming right at her. It just uh, came a little too quick for her. 2-1 Lakers off the Garnett serve. Lobs to the front row, floated across by Hall. Outside, Southwest let a muster on that ball. Locker with the kill. Yep, and she went right down the middle. I'm hoping Lobs is okay. It looked like it hit her in the header, but I think she's indicating that she was able to get her hands up to protect her head there. Garnett got a good serve, just dove over the net. A little trouble for Cole to get the pass up, and it goes as an ace for the senior, Liv Garnett. Yeah, definitely a very effective serve. Had a lot of drop again as it, as it uh, came across that net. Tough to handle. Jennings on first contact. Sarby trying to go deep, but missed. Good swing. I actually thought it touched the, the, the blocker's right. hands, uh, but I'm looking at the line judges and the, uh, the up ref, and uh, it looks like they called it out. Arnett serving right at Jennings again. Hobbs going to Hall on the attack. Giselle Hall, who especially in the first set, had a lot of looks from that side. And, kills and gets one here. Yep, she had a lot of success. Hopefully that continues here in the third set for her. I, what I like about Hall is that she takes she takes a full swing almost every time she gets has an opportunity. A yeah! serve, Lakers let it drop, and Lena Cole, the sophomore, with the ace, makes it five to three. A little miscommunication between the two players there as to who was gonna take it. She served it right in the seam. Tough ball to take, but they've gotta know whose assignment that is. Lakers get to this one. Floated deep, but down for a point. I don't know if that's the way Locker intended to hit that ball, <laughs> but it was effective. I think she looks like she the timing was a little off, and she was just trying to keep that ball in, somewhere in the court. But she did. Think, yeah. I don't think she thought that was going to result in a kill. 6-3 Lakers. Lobs back set, crossed by Budolfs and off of Sharon for a point. Hopkins has shown a little more pep, a little more aggressiveness, and frankly, uh, a better ability to control that ball to allow some offensive options. Crossing, trying to get the cut across, but unable to do so that time was Locker. Ball hit out, and point for Hopkins, or back to within one at 6-5. One of the few times tonight that Locker's had a hitting error. Budolson with a good serve, but, well, hard serve, but into the net. 7 to 5, Lakers. Southwest has led almost the entire night. Hopkins had a couple of brief leads in set one. It's been mostly Lakers. Southwest, another attack here. Nice dig on that ball by Cole. Outside to Hall. Dug up well there by Olsels. They get it back to Olsels for the kill. Nice job by Olsels there. It's the initial contact on the swing from Hall, and then they, they set her right back up again. You know, I've just been impressed with Olsels' swing tonight. She really packs a punch. I mean, she... You look at her, you think, okay, she's not gonna, she's gonna just th roll that ball over, but she really takes an aggressive swing every time sh she has that chance. Hall with the kill. This one back for Hopkins. And most of these players for Hopkins, and we talked about it early, with they're gonna be on the courts for a couple of years yet. I mean, that sophomore here in, in Hall in the eighth grader. Jennings Merritt is only a, a junior. Budolfson a, a sophomore. Uh, Burgess a sophomore. Cole a sophomore. So they got room to grow for sure, right? They, they definitely have room to grow. You could see why Coach Aisha is very excited, not just for this year in terms of, you know, and seeing them develop, but also they have so much potential that they're going to be competitive, and it's the matter of playing a little more together and continue to improve. You can see the pieces are, to, are here. It's a matter of just giving them a little more experience. 9-6, swing by Jennings and a kill. 
And when you've got an eighth grader doing that, can, if you're the coach, you're just loving what you're going to see for the next four and a half years. Great swing, great timing, nice set as well. Yeah, really well set up that time by Lucy Loms. Another 10th grader. Good serve by Jacobson here, one of the few seniors on the roster. Lobs will go to Jennings again, but there's Garnett. It's a good connection, block. good connection by, by Hopkins, but uh, you know, even a better uh, block on Southwest and recognizing it. I think they're starting to pin it over their blocks over there, knowing that Hopkins has been pretty heavy on the left side as well tonight. Uh, it looks like they're moving their middle uh, blockers and cheating over there, hedging over there to make sure that uh, there's always two blocks on that side on their left side, on the Hopkins left side hitters. Bronwyn Meyer, it's an ace serve. Point Lakers, it's 11-7 Southwest. Tough ball to handle when it's got that much movement. This time Meyer into the net with her serve, makes it 11-8. Serve coming from Lobs. Drives it to the back row, taken there by McKay. Quick set to the front, but that time Garnett too much on that ball and hits it long. We try to run a three or an A ball out there. We haven't seen that tonight, but uh, really close. I liked I liked them mixing it up there, and I think that, you know, uh, run it again and see their success. Pretty well executed there. Good decision by Hall to let that one go. Lobs getting it back in play on the serve outside and pushed across by Ozells. Here's Jennings attacking. You can just see the elevation in Jennings when she gets up and when she gets a nice ball set up there and the timing is perfect or is good. Uh, you know, and she's just going to keep growing and even get higher in her jumps as she gets as she gets uh, older here. Hopkins within one, trying to tie it here. Over by McKay. Ball keeps it in play. Lobs will put it for Jennings. Ready to run that ball down. Except for the middle. Garnett. Hopkins got a piece of it. Lobs back to Jennings. Sharon will fly it across. The rally here. Lobs to Jennings again. And pick up back throw. Tipped by Sarney at the net. Attack from Ozos and drops for a point. Good point by both sides there. Way to keep keeping that ball alive. Lots of touches at the net so that the attackers didn't have just an open net on them. Kept allowing the back row to, to get that ball dug up. And Ozos serving here. Team up by two. Jennings right side here on the attack. Over by Sharon. Back row handled by Hall. Lobs across. Sarney off Sharon. All the way across and over by McKay. Off to go back to Jennings. Down the line. A nice pickup on that ball. A good defensive play by Meyer. Jennings again handled back row by Olsers. Man, point for Hopkins. Unable to tip it over was Locker. And it's the Royals winning that long rally, and they get the side out. We're seeing our best stretch of competitive volleyball in the last several points here, both sides here. It's, and, uh, you know, everyone's able to control that ball, attacking that ball, and playing good defense. Overpass off the serve. Hopkins, see if they can take advantage here. Now they're scrambling. Hall, good play to get that one over. Sharon will set it over. Hall, good job to get the hand on that ball hit by Locker. Sharon, quick shot and over. Jennings picks that ball up. Tipped by Hall, wide. Another good rally by both both teams, and what we're seeing is that there's a lot of good touches at the at, at the net here, and so we're seeing some sustained rallies. Garnett to serve for the Lakers. Right into the net, and it's 
For Hopkins, you need a little run here. You need like a four or five point run long. If you're still playing from <laughs> behind. They're just getting up to the edge. They just got to get someone to push them over right. here to, to, to get a few points up there and to build a little confidence. And not yet as Lily DeMarco. But they're definitely a lot more competitive ball in this set than they, they were playing in the second set. And a Masaya 24 back in for the Lakers. Let's see Sharon to serve. Moms gets to Budolfsson, handled by Sharon. And McKay swing from the back row by Ozels. A ball for Hall. Tough, Point southwest. Tough ball to handle for uh, Hall. That pass took her all the way, or a set took her all the way outside the pit, and uh, uh, she tried to throw it over with her hands and got called for a double. Timeout for Hopkins, 15 to 12, Southwest. Trying to go to six and two on the season. I think they feel this is a team that again can compete for section championship. I mentioned the last couple of years they've been in the 6-4A final, losing to Burnsville in 22. He died in last year. And the, you know, we've seen they've got they've got the pieces. To yeah, their might, section to be able to win it. Yeah, this is my first time seeing Southwest this year. Uh, I, coming across, out, out of this, very impressed with just their cleanness of, of how they play the game. Uh, they're not going to wow you with size, uh, but they they're, they don't make a lot of errors. Uh, they serve aggressively, and they have a little bit of diversity in their offense in terms of options, especially when the, when Garnett's on our game as well as the, the two left sides they've got. Uh, you know, and I. I I think they'll definitely compete for that section. Depends on who's going to, uh, you know, bring their best game at that time of year. Coach Brink looks like he's having a good time so far. <laughs> right, right. This team's up to all. <laughs> Coach Brink is one of the most laid-back coaches you ever you ever meet, and he, and he's just as nice of a guy as well too. Um, he really has done a great job with this program. It's like I said, this is his seventh year, and he, he pours everything into it. In fact, this year, he was. Uh, put into the JV head coach role just days before, days into the season unexpectedly. And, you know, he's given everything he's got as well as JV, uh, on that JV team. Well, big swing there from Giselle Hall. Another kill for Hopkins. They're back to within one now. A couple of points for them out of that timeout. Put all set with the serve. Punched across by the Lakers. Hobbs gets it to Jennings, who gets a little tap on it. Ball set to the middle, hit across. They pick up Ozell's hit. Swing over by Sharon, off Jennings. Scramble here, Jacobson gets to it though, and gets the point. And we're tied at 15. Nice job by Hopkins to keep a couple of those balls that looked like it was going to drop um, and just keep it alive. Somehow they were able to scrap out a point there. Well, I like the way Budolson serves. Right? She, She's going, really going at him. She gets a good, strong swing in that. Set in the middle, Jacobson. Ball gets tipped, and that play goes into the net. Looks like Southwest. I think Southwest just got called for their first net call the night. And Hopkins with four straight points into the lead at 16-15. And here we are. We just talked about it previously about just Hopkins being able to just get over that hump. It's set to Marco across. Good dig on that ball by Budolfsson. Jennings with the attack. Run down and put across by Sharon. Budolfsson to Lobs. Quick set for her. Jacobson floats one across. Good dive to the net. To the floor by McKay. And a big swing and a point for Southwest. As Amelie Locker hits the kill and ties it at 16. You know, we're seeing some good, much better volleyball uh, from both teams. Uh, I think that might have been the 1,000th set right there. We talked about it early um, for Lucy Sharon needing 26 sets. Somebody's keeping track is there a big uh, round of applause went up from that southwest bench 
And I think that's what we have. And because Coach Brink called the timeout here. I think he wanted to just give her a, a proper recognition. I mean, a thousand assists is quite a, 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 an achievement. And uh, she certainly deserves the, uh, the honor. That's awesome. Congratulations to Lucy Sharon, senior setter. Coach Brink, gets, that's nice. Gives her his player a little uh, recognition. Didn't necessarily have to, a lot to say in the huddle. Just like gives him her Remember, seven they, her props here. They just won the point previously. Yes, like, oh, right. Well, they call a timeout. You, you kind of kill the momentum. But uh, yeah, totally, totally understandable in th this situation. Now she's on to her next thousand here. Right, there you go. <laughs> 16 all here in set three with Hopkins trailing Southwest two sets to none. Lily Jacobson off hands. It's Hopkins back in front. Seventeen sixteen Royals. Giselle yep. Hall back to serve. Good for Hopkins not get distracted by all that and uh, you know still keeping focus coming out of that timeout. Chip at the net by Jennings for the point. Two point, Hopkins lead. Definitely seen a lot more energy in Hopkins in this set compared to that second set and realizing they're building a little more confidence with each point that they're gaining. And a great serve for Giselle Hall. And it's 19-16 Hopkins. It's their biggest lead tonight. Trying to push this to a fourth set. Go at McKay, and there goes another ace. Wasn't able to get the ball to Avery Farniak on the pass. You know, these were the woes that were uh, affecting Hopkins in the second right. set. Now we're starting to see it in with North uh, Southwest on their serve receive game. And that's one into the net by Hall. So it's 20 to 17. Lakers will rotate back in Garnett and also Penelope Knudsen, a sophomore, number 19, will come in and she'll serve here for the Lakers. Jennings floats one across for a point. Hopkins at 21. You know, sometimes it's not about how hard you hit it, it's about the location. That's how uh, Jennings was able to get a kill. McKay back in. Serve too long. Jacobson had a chance to put her team at 22. Instead, it's 21 18. Meyer serving her team down by three here in the third set. Oh, and a ball handling error by Hall. Cost the Royals a point, 21-19. This could be a time to test to see if the inexperience by Hopkins is going to be, uh, affect them down the, the stretch here. They built a nice little lead. They're only four points away from closing out this set. Hopefully they can maintain their composure and finish it out. Lay a tie cast in. They just called a replay because I think Tycast was still tying her shoes. Right. When, uh, and I don't think the, uh, the up ref saw that and when he blew for whistle, or if he blew for serve. Serve by Meyer. Attacked by Jennings. In for a point. Probably her best attack all night. Solid swing, found that open corner. Uh, location. Nice set as well. 22-19. Lucy Lobs to serve. A little hesitation there for Southwest. And McKay plays it, gets it across. Go we'll back to Jennings again. Good dig up back row. Set the ball in the middle. The block on the attack from Sarby. 
Southwest comes back, and it's Ozels with the kill. Last two points have been terminated by two really good swings by the outside hitters. The first one by Jennings there, and the last one by Ozos in a, in a tough situation. Two blocks, they sealed it, but she's had success going down that line all night. 22-20. Jennings to Budolfsson for the point. Budolfsson taking a little bit off her shot there, just kind of rolling it to the middle of the court where they've had success. Southwest has not been able to, to pick up a lot of those shots. Jennings serving. Set all the way across the net. Good block there by Sarby, but Bob's unable to get the pickup, and Kill will go to Locker. It's 23-21. When it's crunch time, I think Southwest goes their, 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 their two um, mainstays out on the left side. They've, had the, they've been feeding them the last several points. And in the back row here, serving. All the Sarby, picked up by the Lakers, by Garnett. Back to Locker, just a miss hit by her that time. Into the net, and now it's set point for Hopkins at 24-21. Locker's time was a little off there. She looked like she went a little early and had to reach back. By that time, the ball was behind her. And a tough ball to bring back in. Ball hit wide, I think, yes, on the attack from DeMarco. And set three goes to Hopkins, 25-21. Long, I thought, a really well-played set for Hopkins, especially coming off that set, second set where they did not play a, a great, did not play great in <laughs> pretty much that entire set, and they come back and get this one. Yeah, credit to Hopkins for sticking in there and not mailing it in after that, you know, second set. That didn't go, it wasn't their best, and then even in the third set, they, they, they were very close, but yet could never get over that hump, and then, you know, middle of that set, they were able to find something. And, uh, and find another gear and, and pushed away with it. And then still stay, stay competitive all the way down that stretch. Even when Southwest tried to counter at the end, uh, Hopkins remained composed and then were able to put it away. Hopkins stays alive, keeps this match going. Happy Hopkins bench. Two sets to one now here from Hopkins High School. More on CCX after this. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. With Wong Lung, I'm John Jacobson. Welcome to CCX coverage of high school volleyball. Minneapolis Southwest Lakers leading the Hopkins Royals. Two sets to one. Good come from behind win for Hopkins there in set three to push us to a fourth set. Yeah, after that second set, we certainly didn't think we were going to be going to a fourth set the way that Hopkins played. And, and kudos to Hopkins, though, for hanging in there and not mailing it in and making this into a, making it into a game. Southwest will serve to start set four. I think what propelled Hopkins down that uh, down the stretch there in that third set was um, Southwest inability to handle the, the serve. Uh, Hopkins served really aggressively, especially with Buddhison, um served some you know some hard balls down down to the back row there, and they couldn't handle it and took them out of system even when they were able to keep that ball in play. Underway here in set four off the uh, set for, or the serve from Lina Masaya. Net play there, Jennings won that ball. Tipped over by Lobs. Point for Hopkins to start set four.
And Lobs will go back to serve. Well, trying to hit that back corner did not. And wisely letting it go long was Ozel's. 1-1. It, it was close. It sure looked like it had a chance when it, when, uh, from our angle. Ozel's serving. Ball to the middle, hit across. Ozel's and it's off the hands of Lobson out. 2 1 Lakers. Tough ball for Lobs to handle. It got her above the shoulder. Tough ball to dig. Ozo, you know, put some pace on that ball. Ozo's floats it over. Jennings had to dive to the floor to get to that ball. And. Did that get across or not? Well, they're calling a touch on uh, Southwest. Nope, now that's overruled. Now it's called out. I don't think it ever crossed the, t uh, crossed the net no, or touched by, so by Southwest. So it is a point for Southwest, and they're up 3 1. Well, this one missed by Ozels. Serving air gives the side out, the point to Hopkins. And to Jennings to serve. Jennings back row handled by Ozels. Front row attack. Jennings nice. good pickup on that swing by Locker. Lobs back set for Budolfsson. Awesome hands. Quick ball to the middle. Garnett gets a touch on it. Another one, a whistle. And a Hopkins player in the net. Yeah, they're going to call a net, I believe, on Sarvi there uh, when she tried to go up for that block. 4-2 Lakers. Garnett serving. The Sarvi here. Handled back row by the Lakers. Little tip over, but missing it was Locker. Ball out, Hopkins point. Plotner didn't have a lot of options in terms of what she could do with that ball. It died well inside the antenna, and uh, she was you know, she was late to that ball, and all she could try to do was try to tip it over and find a line. Cole on the serve. Goes that Ozels. Oh, a little dump there by the setter. Sharon gets the point. Nice awareness by the uh, setter dump. Front row player able to attack, basically taking that second ball and attacking it, finding that gap. Good job using her left hand, catching that libero off guard. Yeah, she could see that Cole is probably too far back to be able to yeah. play that. Yep. Service ace here. That one goes off hands and a point for the Lakers. They're out six to three. Sharon, who we saw. Sort of a long run of points back in set two. Back at it again here. Roy Hopkins in a little trouble with it. Although they're able to get that one across and get the kill. Big swing from Giselle Hall. Yeah, good swing. Finding that they've had a lot of success going in that corner between the five and the six zone there in that corner. Um, hitting around the block. And that one too close to the sideline. Unable to get it back to the middle was Locker. Another strong serve from Budolson. She'll put it in play here, trying to get a tie score here in set four. McKay let this, lets that one go along and seven to five on the service error. You just jinxed her, John. I know. Right. <laughs> I did. Nathalie Pesh serving for Southwest. Dive on the ball for Cole Jacobson trying to dump it over and got it in. Yeah, good recognition there by uh, Jacobson. You know, I think that Hopkins was thinking that she was going to attack that ball, and all she did was just kind of just throw it to, the, uh, to her left. All serves. Dug up back row by McKay. Swing across Ozels with the kill for the Lakers.
and six Southwest. Knutson rotates back in. She'll serve here for Southwest. Tie cast number four in for Hopkins. They go right out. Tie cast. Ball cross here for Jennings. Southwest able to handle that, and again Olzels. The missed. Too strong down the line that time. Yeah, just barely missed. Good yeah. swing again. I mean, she's had so much success going down that line. Just a little deep there. Jacobson to serve. Morales down one in the set and in the match. And now we're tied up. Point caused by a little miscommunication is going to take that ball. 8-8 eight, eight as Jacobson serves again. Garnett with a swing and a kill. Garnett, a lot of kills in set two. Not so much in uh, set three or yet here in four, but if they can get her going again, Fong, it'll be good for Southwest. You know, so much of it is dependent on whether Southwest can pass that ball, so they're going to run a middle ball or a middle play. And that's what happened in set two for Garnett. They, they, they pass so well. And now she gets a kill with a block. Garnett yeah. blocking the Jennings attack. Lots of way to make points for your team. 10-8, Southwest. Budolson lobs across to Jennings and swung it into the net there. I'll tell you what, Lob did a great job running down that ball and then giving her actually a very, very hittable ball you know, from cross court. Great set. Served by Masaya, Mina Masaya. Here's Jennings swinging in. Inside that back line for a point. Once again, we're going to that left back corner again for uh, Hopkins. Find a success. It's, you know, some, that time she took a little something off that. She didn't take a max swing on that. Observe. A couple of players almost collide there for Southwest, but they're able to recover. Player in the net for Hopkins. I think they called Budison on a net call on that when she went up to try to block. Twelve nine. No one just taking a little too much off that ball with Selena Cole. Here into the net now. Southwest by four. Aisha Khan seen it off for now, takes time out. You can't let this one, I mean, get, get away, right? You're down four, Southwest halfway, a little more now to 25, and Hopkins got to stop the bleeding now. Uh, definitely a smart uh, call for a timeout right there. Need to kind of, you know, just stop the bleeding a little bit here and uh, see if we can, they can regroup. Uh, they've made a couple of uh, uncharacteristic errors. It certainly weren't the errors they were making in, in, in sets three that, when they, they won. Um, and they're right there still. They're only four points down. Um, you know, win a couple points here on this timeout, and they're right back into us here. And, uh, you know, it's not like they're playing poor ball, poorly, uh, but it's just, you know, a net call here or a shank pass there. Even in that, that last ball where Cole just kind of mistimed her, her shot, you know, uncontested. It was unforced. So just kind of regroup a little bit. Hopkins won't have any time, as I mentioned earlier, to work on anything that went wrong tonight. They're back into action tomorrow at Buffalo. Out of the timeout, Hopkins trying to get a little run going. There they go, get it to Jennings. Taps that one down the line. Much needed side out and points, 13-10. Such great recognition. She saw the two blockers that sealed that gap for her and then saw the libero come in and just pushed it to that corner where it's been, they've had a lot of success. Back row off McKay. Run down and put across by Locker. 
Lobs for Budolfsson. Got it over the blockers. It swing and a block, but it's blocked wide. And it'll go as a kill for Amelie Locker. 14-10. Yeah, Hopkins put the two blocks up there. Yep. Um, just weren't able to angle their blocks back in that court. And uh, Locker tooled it. Garnett. That's an ace. Hard, aggressive uh, serve that just dropped. Tough to handle for, for Cole. 15-10, Southwest. Arnett again. This time goes at Hall and on the overpass, Sharon. Uh, they're going to call her for a net on the, on the swing through. Sharon can't believe it. I don't think she thought she touched that net. Now Sharon called. We'll take a look at it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. Good call by the R2. Oh, and then back to the left side again. Here we go, Fong. They did a lot of this in set one. Locker yep. with the kill. Yep. And in the same location, too. Just taking advantage of, kind of again, I think size. Uh, uh, you know, the, 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 sh the sh shorter right side blocker. They able to hit it over that blocker for him. Sharon floats a serve. Jennings got it. Lobs back set to Budolfsson. Hands up there for the Lakers. Back to Hall. Oh, in. Uh, and left her hand. I was like, oh, that's going to go long. And she finds that back corner for a point. Yeah, Jennings and Hall have had just, a, just had a feast in that corner today. Sixteen twelve. Budolf sent it to serve. She's strong. Southwest back up by five. Pash back in to serve. Budolfson lobs. Jacobson at the net. Ball picked up there. I must say, a swing into the net. Cross. Good pick up by Cole. Quick set to the middle. Jacobson over for a point. Good idea by Jacobson. She recognized that the setter was pretty far off that net, and she was ahead of that net, uh, ahead of the setter, and uh, didn't have an, a swing option there. And just So just kind of just put it in that campfire where uh, Southwest has had some problems tonight picking that ball up. Avery Merritt serves. Pick up by Pesh. Back to that left side. And off hands and down for a point. Kill this time for Ozels. Southwest at 18. Here in set four. Lead by five again. Knutson back in to serve. Right at Jennings. Tough serve. So I think that, that ball barely made it over the, the net. With a lot of pace on it. Lakers by six. Go at Jennings again. This time able to handle it. Lobs to Jacobson. Gets it over Garnett. Swing. Jennings gets it over. But Lakers ready for it. And then getting it down the line for point was Ozil's. Fortunately for Hopkins, Merritt pulled her hands back there. She, I think she wanted to dig that ball um, and pulled it off, pulled it back just in time for the ball to land out. Yeah, it did land out. So 1914, my mistake. Side out to Hopkins. Jacobson serving. Also, this time she did not miss that time around. She's a nice down the line swing. She's. Yep. 20 to 14, Southwest. Going to close it out, the match here in the fourth set. Tie cast in for Merritt for Hopkins. Malena Masaya serving. Quick set. Army over. A couple of dives on the floor, but not enough. Ashley Sarvi, the senior, with the kill. Good vision against by Sarvi. They've had a few. They've had some success over that little dump area in that uh, left front. 
Bob serving at Pesh. Sharon dumping it over. Cole ready for it. Over pass. Garnett. Oh. Nice block by Sari, but I think they're going to catch her on that net violation there as she was coming through uh, after she blocked that ball. So point southwest. I don't know if the Royals agree with it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's 21-15 Lakers. Hobbs back to Jennings. Jennings getting the pass. The Lucy Lobs back to Jennings. The ball just sounds different when she hits it, too. She, 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 she certainly doesn't uh, get shortchanged there. Swing here, whistle. Yeah, good call by the by Tim there, referee Tim. Uh, definitely a double contact by the setter. I mean, 21-17. Royals need like four more of those, right? Not the last two points here. But Southwest sitting at 21. And yeah, Hall attacking for a point. 21-18. Yeah, good job by Hall there. She sees the two blockers. Timing's a little off, but she instead of taking a full swing, she throws it into the the hand the, the blocker's arms. And, and gets the point. On the overpass, a little too aggressive though on the swing for Budolfsson. She had some open court there, but too much on that on that ball. 22-18 Lakers. Garnett serves Cole. Lobs will get the set. Jennings from the middle with the point. Good, good composure and not, not uh, you know, um, freaking out and, and that ball. It was totally out of system for her. Set wasn't the greatest, and then she just took something off just to keep it in play. Oh, the good serve. Lena Cole with an ace, 22-20. Hopkins back to within two. They were down six at 21-15. She'll put it in play again, back row. Lakers get to it. Get across by DeMarco. And Hall trying to attack, got the point on it, off the Lakers. Another smart adjust by Hall. Again, set was inside. She didn't have a, a, a big opportunity to take a big swing on it and just kind of use you know, the, the blocker's arms to advantage. Just hit off the, and swiped it off the blocker's arms. Sharon trying to dump it over. But Olsen was ready for that. Here's Hall again. And for a point, we're tied at 22. She's showing all different ways of how to score. That one, she just took a max swing and... Uh, Scored it in the back left again. That must be their 15th or 17th point between the, uh, her and Jennings tonight in that corner. Got it right inside the line. Timeout. Rob Brink in the Lakers. Once up by six at 21-15. Now we're tied at 22. Yeah. You know, regardless of what the outcome's going to be, I think Coach Aisha is going to be very happy with the fight that she's seeing here. Even in this set alone, I mean, you know, they were down, you said, six or seven earlier. And yet, still, I mean, you know, the Lakers have, have had 21, 22 points for a long time here. And uh, now Aisha's going out to the court to show them how to defend where they're, where they're attacking that ball so that maybe position themselves to pick up that loose ball. But I mean, you know, this is definitely a, a, a game of improvement for them uh, from uh, you know what way she's been describing how they played. And, and just to look at the body language in that timeout, they're confident right now. They're loose. They are. They are. And uh, you know, I think you give a young team some confidence. You know, that that's that that's a recipe for success. See if they can take advantage here and go in the lead off the cold serve from the timeout. Southwest comes back. Good attack. They're up by Jennings. Go back to Jennings. McKay across. Cole digs that one up. 
Outside Hall, awesome hand by Giselle Hall has come up huge here tonight in set four and Hopkins in front of 23-22. You know, this run for Hopkins has been, you know, a, a contributed a, a huge part by their ability to just get touches off the, 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 the Southwest hitters to allow them to, to dig that ball up. Cut at the net, Sharon able to get it across. Go back to Hall again, this time right into the tape. Tied at 23. You know, Hopkins got the play they wanted. Hall was able to, to get the full swing on that, just missed it. Now shake it off and uh, get a nice pass and regroup and get the next one. Lucy Sharon's been good serving tonight and serves it into the net. Now it's set point for Hopkins at 24-23. Nelsie Budelson to serve for Hopkins. Trying to send this to a fifth set. Left side swing gets blocked by Hopkins. Ball in the middle, blocked back by Jacobson. Another attack, handled by Budolfsson. Over to Hall, floats it across, back row. Sharon with the set, across, left side. Oh, and Jennings able to dig up that ball and locker. Here's Hall, puts it over. Back to locker again, too long. And Hopkins has come back to tie the set 25-23. The win here in set four. We will go to a fifth and deciding set. Uh, great job by Hopkins of maintaining their composure. And how about that dig by Jennings there to keep that point alive and then to, to give them a chance to win it. Definitely a different vibe uh, of the Hopkins team compared to after that first, that first and second set. One set to 15 to determine the winner. Come back with set five, Hopkins Southwest on CCX after this. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. On to set five, Minneapolis Southwest and Hopkins tonight on CCX. Great comeback by the Royals, especially if you're talking between sets. You look at that second set score, 25-11. Royals look all out of sorts, and yet they've come back to set this to a fifth set tonight. Uh, we certainly didn't expect we were going to be sitting here and talking about a fifth setter, and even in the fourth set, because I think Southwest had a pretty decent yeah, lead. You're up 21 and 15. Yeah, and so we thought yeah, the game's probably going to be over, but good for Hopkins for keeping it, staying in there and keep fighting. And you can just see their confidence building with each point that they're winning. And even when they don't score, like in that situation, they're still in the system, taking a full swing and taking a big attack. Great job by Southwest there to get that block. Garnett getting the block on the Jennings attack and the first point going to Southwest. Over on the swing there from Tycast. Outside they go down the line for a point and it's 2-0. Yeah, that's been their bread and butter and I mm -hmm. expect that that's gonna, they're going to start seeing more and more of that again uh, down the stretch in the, in the fifth setter. Kudos there to uh, Garnett. She had a couple of nice blocks in the same point, uh, not allowing Hopkins to uh, score on that attack on their attacks. There's Jennings. Ball played to the front and knocked across there by Ozels. Late swing by Budolfsson. Good dig on the ball by McKay. Oh, well, the hands of Sarvi and down for a point. First three points here in set five have gone to Southwest. Yeah, Southwest looks like they're a little more reinvigorated here. Uh, sharper, crisp passing. 
allowing their uh, setter to make some 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 good uh, pat or sets out to the hitters. Moina Masea on the serve. Here's Jennings attacking. Good dig up in the back row there by Tess. By Pess. Bombs tried to dump it over. Sharon tried the same thing. Jennings will tap it. Outside they go again to Ozel. And the senior puts her team up 4-0. You know, the time for Ozo there wasn't great. She still was able to make it. She was a little early on that ball and able to reach and still make a nice, a nice swing on that and convert it into a point. Coach Khan wanting some clarification from up official Tim Harlow. I think, I, I think Coach Aisha had disagree with some ball handling there with the setter. Be get wide. No, no touch on the southwest side. Point for the Lakers. And now timeout for Hopkins. Of course, a short runway to 15 in set five, and Southwest already at, at five. Yeah, this is definitely was not the uh, start that Hopkins was hoping for, especially with the momentum they had built the last two sets here. But I mean, credit Southwest. They look like a different team as well right now in the first five points. Not making a lot of errors, and, and frankly, controlling the defense on the front row. They've had, when Hopkins had a few uh, chances to, to take some uh, swings, I think each of them have been contested by a block. It's been touched, which allows their back row to dig that ball up and get back in the system. And then obviously their bread and butter, of, you know, left side hitters going down that line. I think they've already scored three points on that already in this, in this short set. Let's see, right. if, Go ahead. let's see if Hopkins has another kind of life here and just kind of re-energize after that uh, uh, timeout. Messiah serve. Lakers up 5-0. Hobbs goes to Jennings. Tips it in for a point. Hopkins on the board here in set five. Another smart play by Jennings, knowing that that set took her inside, didn't have a lot of options, and then was able to just push it to the le to the right side. And she didn't have a lot of room to work with. No. She was still able to get outside the blockers and still in play. Yeah, that's just athleticism that got got, got that point for her. Except Garnett's got to reach a hand and kind of flop it over. Jennings handled back row there by Pesh. Big swing, Sarney got a block, and that leads to a point. A little confusion on who was going to take that dig, and uh, whoever whoever did uh, take it ultimately, I think their, their timing was thrown off on that. Yeah, Ashley Sarby able to get the uh, dig on the swing from Elise Olsels. Now five to two. Northwest kept that one in play. Dawson swing, back row, run down by Sharon, across, overpass, too strong by Budolson, 6-2 Lakers. Budolson didn't look like she looked like she wanted to go up for the block and then saw it was the overpass and by that time it was a little, time it was a little off and realized she had to attack that ball and then was catching that ball on the way down. Wasn't able to get her regular swing on it. Osos. On the serve, here we go to Bodolson. Ball in the middle, a little touch by Garnett, and a touch back. Kill for Sarvi and Hopkins. A good job by Sarvi here to get that deflection uh, from Garnett. Six to three. Jennings serves. Well, it's going to be tough to play across, but able to do it from the tough angle was Locker. Sarvi, another kill. No touch in the middle. Hits it down. That's been Sarvi's go to tonight. When every time she's had that tight little set to her, and then with that double block, and she sees that opening on the left front.
Jennings serve. Back set. Big swing by Garnett. Good pick up by Hopkins. Here's Hall on the attack. At the net. Off the line and over. Lobs back set. Budolfson across. That's picked up across and missed on the attack from Sharon. Hopkins on a 5-1 run. We've seen them rally the last couple sets, and they're doing it again here in set five. Yeah, Sharon tried to take that second ball and attack it and uh, had a good idea, just a little wide. Jennings for the tie here. Oh, at the net. Money, another kill. Ashley Sarby with some huge plays here in the fifth set. We're tied at six. Timeout, South left. So credit Hopkins for winning six out of the last seven points there. They called a timeout at when they were down 0-5. Now it's tied at 6-6. Six, six. This young team, what we call considered inexperienced team, is really showing a lot of fight. And this is the type of development and improvement that I think Coach Aisha is looking for from game to game. This is certainly a different team than what the team I saw um, in their first match against Washburn. Uh, you know, huge improvements in such already such a short span of time, and I think that just bodes well for them going forward for the rest of the season. Our next volleyball in CCX a week from Wednesday, a Northwest Suburban Conference match, Champlin Park and Maple Grove to the top teams in that conference, and also two teams in the top 10, top 15 in Class 4A. I think both teams started the preseason, or it was preseason top 10. Both teams yeah. will certainly contend uh, when it comes to sectional time, They're both in the same sections. Um, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's, you know, Champlin, you know, we know about Carly Gilk and, you know, the state's number one player, but I, Maple Grove's got a couple players on, uh, on their own, including, I think, a sophomore. It's Casey Schultz, I believe her name. She's going to be a, t a very good player. There is a very good player already in her own right. Here we go out of the timeout, tied at six. Paul floated across. Nice dig on that ball by the Lakers. Now here's Budolfson with the swing. Off hands, point for Hopkins. You know, Budolfson's not the tallest player out there, but she certainly packs that punch. And right there, she a couple big blocks on her and she's still able to tool it to win the point for Hopkins. Jennings with their team now in the lead. First time here in the fifth set. Last one off of Jennings and Lakers with a much needed point there. Emily Locker with the kill. 7-7. Seven, seven. Liv Garnett, the serve. First one to eight now. The tie at seven. Touch over by Locker. Back set here. Off hands and Hopkins unable to recover. That was a nice defensive play at the net by Southwest. Sure was. Boosen had the same type of ball she had last time when she got the kill. This time the blockers were in, in position and were able to, to block it back into the court. 8 7 Lakers. Garnett. Jennings gets that ball, lobs across. Over to Hall, but into the net. Again, another really nice, kind of almost a, a blind set by Lobs. Cross court to, to, to Hall. Uh, so Hall certainly had a, had a good opportunity to make a swing on that. Net backs up Cole. Jennings got to track it down. This one has to be over and is by Sarvi. Ball to the middle and a block for Sarvi. It's up on the attack from Locker. You know, Southwest ran a decoy with the middle up, and they saw it brought Locker in. And uh, Locker had a golden opportunity because I think it certainly took a blocker with her on the decoy and had an open net. She wasn't able to convert. Outside they go to Locker. <laughs> Point this time for Locker. You know, credit Locker there. She didn't have, it wasn't in a great position to take a full swing, but yet she knew that that was a location she's going to score on. She did take a full swing there, maybe about a 70% swing, um, and still was able to locate it. 
10-8 Southwest. Lucy Sharon serves. Quick whistle. So the R2 rotation just called. Error. Yeah, the R2 just called Hopkins for a rotation there. Looks like a little overlap in the back row here, or is it the front row players? Still not sure as to which ones, which two players are overlapping that she's talking about here. Tough time to call a rotation violation, or at least to have a, mm -hmm. a rotation violation. Not a, not to call it, but to have one. Coach Khan still trying to make her point. I'm not going to win. Big point for Southwest now, just four away from a win. But we've seen Hopkins rally before. Let's see if they can do it here. Jacobson with the swing. Picked up back row. Jennings from the middle. Bob to go outside the hall over blockers. There's a point. Sign out for Hopkins. It's 11 9. Hopkins have had a lot of points in that camp fight area tonight, whether it's by a tip or deflection. Southwest hasn't been able to make that adjustment to pick that ball up. Put all set. A serve. 11 to 10. I noticed Budas in, in this serve has taken a little bit off compared to her two previous serves, but yet the location, the move in the ball, it's just as effective. Goes at McKay. <laughs> oh, let it go, but it drops for an ace. That ball had major, major sink on, and I think that fooled Southwest when it left her hand. It looked like that was going to go really deep. It just had major sink on. Good serve by her. Yep. They're definitely in. Hopkins with three in a row. We are tied at 11. All over the middle. Hit a cross mm. and a point. A big kill there for Lily DeMarco. Junior makes it 12-11 Southwest. Good run by Hopkins. Get back in that game. I think when Boosom took that serve, she was three points down. Pash serving. Off Hall. Lobb's got to run it down. Gets it back to Hall. Sharon with the set. Block at the net by Jacobson. Southwest trying to push it back row. Jacobson up, dug up by McKay. Swing across. Jennings with a pick up on that ball. Tip at the net. Another point for DeMarco. Yeah, Jacobson was kind of caught in this, uh, this tough situation where, you know, she was already tight pressed on that net. The ball came up there and then obviously right into that blocker. Tough ball to try to, you know, either tip it around or hit it around it. And uh, nice job by, uh, by Southwest to get that block and to read that play develop. Junior middle back to back point, Southwest. Up by two as Hopkins takes timeout. The second and final timeout here, the fifth set. Well, I don't know how many times we've written Hopkins off right. Right tonight. Not gonna I'm do not going to write him no. off here either, just no. because they're <laughs> two points away from losing the match, but only two points from tying it as well, too. So, uh, you know, they've sh one thing they've shown us tonight is a lot of grit and just resilience and fight. But also credit Southwest for hanging in there. They could have mailed it in too after kind of a you know pretty defeating fourth set loss there when they thought they were in cruise control. Even they thought they were in cruise control after the second set. Uh, but you know they're just as determined to win this thing whether it's going to be in five or whether it could have been done in three here. With Ali Pesh being ready for this timeout to end, so back in play on the serve. Hopkins, Hall, tip it over the blockers. Southwest ready for it, though. A side swing and into the net. Point for Hopkins. Ozos couldn't get it over the tape. It's 13-12. Ozo tried to take something off that shot. Uh, just didn't put enough height or clearance uh, to get it over that uh, net. Merritt rotates back in to serve. 
Macro off for pass for a time at 13. I thought I heard a Southwest player yell out as Pesh was about to pass that ball, and I'm wondering whether she heard that too, and it confused her because that didn't look like one of her normal passes that she would make on, on, that, that, on that serve. Southwest takes timeout. We could play like 10 sets tonight, and I'm convinced <laughs> it would be 5-5. Five, five. I, mean, I mean, in the way these last three sets have gone, these teams <laughs> seem pretty evenly matched. Certainly didn't the first two sets, but um, Hopkins has shown a lot of resilience. And yeah, like I said, I think, I think both teams are going to be proud of their teams, or both coaches are going to be proud of their team's performance tonight. Like just the fight that they're showing. Um, and you know it's still early in the season, and um, you know you could you could see that you know the coaches are instilling this fighting spirit in them, and, and they're they're certainly buying into it. Hopkins breaks their huddle. Avery Merritt back to serve. And to put her team in the lead. Somebody's going to match point after this. Yeah, I'd be shocked sequence. if Southwest, if they're in system, does not set this ball to the left side here to Ozos. They do. What a good pickup by Merritt. Jennings got it across. Go back to Ozos oh. again. Missed. Match point, Hopkins. Yep, they went back to Ozos twice here, and first time it was a little deflected. Um, and then the second time, Ozos tried to go down that line again, and this time just a little too wide. Good serve, short, picked up. They go to Ozos again, off hands. Good pick up by Merritt. The Jennings over. Quick set to the middle with Marco. Point for Southwest, they're tied at 14. A nice shot by DeMarco there, just hitting a seat in the block blockers and just hitting around it and just find it just inside the court. Fourteen all here in set five, Knutes and serving for the Lakers at Jennings. Lobs back to trying to go back to Jacobson, but Missed on them, it's timed it, and the point to Southwest, and now match point for Minneapolis Southwest. And I think Coach Aisha was imploring her as to, hey, you got a great pass there, let's bring it out to your uh, to Jennings here to give her a shot. Lobs to Jennings, gets blocked, and there it is. Southwest prevails, they get the final three points in set five, and win it 16 to 14. Nice job by Southwest. I think they knew that that ball was going to go back out to Jennings, and they just kind of, you know, teamed up out there and just and, and went heavy on that block. Uh, good job by them. Set was a little inside for Jennings, and, 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 and Jennings still tr put a full swing on it, but I think the, the block was pretty tough by Southwest. Great game, very entertaining. Yeah, no doubt. This was a, a fun one. Southwest goes up. 25-18, 25-11. It looks like maybe they're going to go on the way to a sweep, but Hopkins plays much better in set three, wins 25-21. Rallies from down six in set four to win 25-23. Rallies again a couple of times here in the fifth set, down 5-0, and they come back, they take the lead, and in the end, Southwest wins it. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's volleyball. It's been a fun one here on CCX. For Fong Lung and all of our great crew, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for watching our coverage. High School Volleyball, Minneapolis Southwest tonight at Hopkins wins it in five.